You know those phone holders that you keep on your desk? Like these? I mean, $130 just to hold my phone on my desk? Nah, let's print one. Let me show you how to do this without it. All right guys, to start using this, all you have to do really is to describe the type of object I want. Right now I'm thinking, uh, you know, my iPhone is about 80 millimeters in width and I kind of want a block on the side just to support it. So I'm just gonna say, you know, create a block that is 80 millimeters by 10 millimeters by 150 millimeters. 150 millimeters of the height, you know, the thickness, and voila, Adam will quickly render this. Uh, next thing I kind of want to do is maybe tilt this panel like back 20 degrees. So I'm just going to say tilt the panel back 20 degrees. And when I do that, uh, you can see that it's probably going to just lean it a little bit backwards. Yeah, nice. That is a very smooth, nice surface that we can rest our phone on. Um, you know, obviously this will not stand individually so I was thinking maybe you know I can also just like give it a base that is you know maybe the same length but 80 millimeter wide right like a like a squarish platform on the bottom um, just to hold the smartphone very solidly um, this is looking pretty good so far I'm noticing you know a few things we can make a change make changes on it I can say you know uh, maybe make the base a little bit thick thicker Right, just to you know, make it a more solid, heavier object. I'm thinking about 3D printing this um, very soon, so you know, plastic is not very heavy. Um, yeah, and then another thing I'm starting to notice here is that we can see there's a little bit of a gap between the back panel and the base. So, um, you know, I'm just gonna say move the tilted panel down a bit. Right, and this way, you know, the geometry kind of overlaps with each other, and it looks like a very seamless transition. Um, okay, yeah, so did that very, very well. Um, and this is pretty much where we're gonna get to. Uh, I do think one thing I'm slightly worried about is like plastic is a very smooth surface. You know, if I print this out at PLA, the phone's gonna slide out because there's no lip in the front area to kind of hold it. Right, and so uh, I can just say, you know, give it. You know, give the base maybe, give the base a bit of a lip uh, in front of the tilted panel. And um, yeah, so, you know, it's going to be like this, like this, and then a little bit of a tilted ledge on the front. Okay, um, I think I said it on the other side. Uh, maybe just say, you know, uh, move the lip to the other side and maybe give me finer controls. And the nice thing about Atom is you can see there's every time I say something and add a feature to it, it kind of generates like a parameter panel on the right side. So um, it did exactly what I requested, but say, you know, I want to make the height a little bit uh, lower, like say 10 millimeters, uh, I can drop that height. Um, actually, let's drop that height a little bit more. Six, that looks good. Uh, that looks really good so far. Um, and I think um, that's very close to what I'm thinking about, which is like a rough sketch of what a phone holder is. Um, a nice finishing touch would be, you know, maybe fill it the lip, right? So it looks round and soft and uh, it doesn't, it's not as abrasive when I put the phone on. I can slide it on there more easily. Um, and, you know, Adam's going to think about it a little bit and it did that very nicely. Yeah, much better. That looks great. Um, and then the one last trick I want to talk to you guys about today is I can just say increase resolution. And you know, when I do that, um, it will make the lip smoother. Uh, resolution is kind of like an inter internal parameter inside of Atom. So when I say make it smoother, you can see the filleted edges are perfectly round now, uh, which is super, super nice. Um, and yeah, that is the phone holder we made today. You know, it's great, I can print it out, and I'll see you guys when I print the phone holder out. All right guys, so I just printed out the phone holder, and I think this has been a really fun project. You know, it only took me a few sentences, and I was able to make something that I actually use every day on my desk. 
But I don't really think this is the only solution. There's so many ways to actually design a phone holder. I'm super excited to see what you guys make. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you guys soon.